Saving Private Ryan is an epic movie about World War II and has one of the most realistic battle scenes in cinematic history. The creators tried to make the storming of the beach at Normandy come to life on the screen. They did an excellent job, at least for those of us who never experienced the real thing, because it showed the soldiers' fear as they approached the beach, the suddenness of death for many, and the shock of those who suffered horrific injuries. It was nasty, brutish, and painful just to watch. Those of us who haven't experienced war can only imagine how bad it really was. Sadly, most movies and TV shows smooth over battle scenes as if we're not able to handle the truth. A strong argument for the accuracy of the Bible is that it treats its readers like adults who can handle the truth. It talks about real events in real terms and doesn't try to smooth over the rough spots. For example, in 1 Samuel 31, we find the record of Saul's death in battle. The Philistines attacked Israel at Mount Gilboa and succeeded in defeating Saul's army and killing him along with his sons, verses 1 and 2. Well, not exactly. Saul's sons were killed, but Saul was only wounded. To avoid capture, he ordered his armor bearer to finish him off. But the man refused, so Saul fell on his own sword, verses 3-4. through four. Instead of dying nobly in battle, Saul suffered the indignity of a wound that would have left him to be captured, so he took his own life. That's reality. That's how battles went, especially before the mass use of gunpowder. One of the problems in modern times is that we've extended our efforts to protect children from harsh realities to adults as well. We treat other adults as if they're too fragile to deal with the brutal reality of war, or for that matter, the reality of death. Dealing with it up close and personal these last few years, as older Christians I knew approached death, taught me that even believers have a hard time dealing with it. Instead of speaking truthfully about our impending death and the inevitability of divine judgment, Hebrews 9 verse 27, we pretend modern medicine will keep us alive forever. No, it won't. One day you will be the guest of honor at a funeral. So will I. Today's culture has created the 11th commandment, thou shalt be nice. As a result, we're prohibited from discussing the first 10. They're too harsh for today's sensitive ears and egos. We're not allowed to address sin and death in real terms because, well, that's not nice. But by not speaking of life and death in real terms, we allow others to live and die in their sins. Now that's the ultimate in not being nice because that's the ultimate indignity. Why are we so afraid to tell others the truth in an effort to save them from the harshness of eternal separation from God? Hiding the truth is not nice. It hides a brutality that makes the beach scene in Saving Private Ryan look like a picnic for children. Consider that the next time you get mad at someone for speaking the truth. Well, thanks for watching today's Morning Minutes in the Bible. Until tomorrow, this is James McClenney hoping you have a great day.